The reason why I think I chose physics as a path in life is just I've always had a curiosity of how the world works and how things work. It kind of had all the answers that I wanted to know. I'm Kate Wyness, I'm from the University of Bristol doing a PhD supported by Sellafield, the UK's main decommissioning site for nuclear waste. I'm really happy to return to Bristol, this is my home and I have strong family ties here. I suppose I like the community feel of Bristol and I just love the city. The project overall is basically the application of science, which from my background of doing an applied physics degree, the next step for me was going to be in applied science or applied physics. The first part of my project, I got to actually build an open source ROV, which is a remotely operated vehicle, which developed so many hands-on skills, so many practical skills. I got to do some electronics, some just general building of parts, got to glue my hands together a few times. My project is working with Sellafield to chemically map the base of their wet storage facilities. Their storage facilities are called ponds, and at the base of these ponds, there's been some corrosion buildup, which we call sludge. So they want me to use a light-based technology called Raman spectroscopy to chemically analyse the base of these ponds. And from this, they would like me to firstly design, develop and build a probe, a Raman probe. And then secondly, they would actually like me to use proxy or fake samples of the nuclear waste material and actually build a reference library of data. The whole reason I'm doing this is to aid the decommissioning and long-term storage process. I've never actually visited the ponds. I've only ever been up to the Sellafield site once. I work out of a research centre at Bristol University called the IAC, which stands for the Interface Analysis Centre. We have a very strong nuclear focus on the group now because of the brand new opening of the Southwest Nuclear Hub, which is a cohort of universities coming together and actually doing nuclear-based research. Quite a lot of my PhD is involved, I suppose, tinkering with optics, which are lenses, filters, building equipment myself. Another part of it now is with the samples, analysing them through certain techniques. It's not just sat at a desk and thinking about things. You get to think about things and actually go and turn the idea you have in your head into reality and then see direct results from that. So that's pretty cool. In the past few months, my project had to take a slightly different turn from things not working out. But that different direction has actually led to me being really successful in my work. And ultimately, that's research. And the whole point I'm doing it in the first place is because it, it was a completely novel idea and completely new. So no one actually had ever done this before, what I was attempting to do. So no one had ever known whether it was possible. And it's actually quite exciting for me. I definitely hope that my, my project can then be developed into actually making a more cost-effective way of dealing with the waste. Recent developments in the past few years with the UK government putting quite a lot of money in towards sort of the next generation of nuclear power, I definitely think there's a future in there. There's definitely a long way to go in regards to the clean-up mission from the previous generation, but in my lifetime there will be operational power stations around the southwest. We can't rely solely on renewables. The technology today is, is very good, however it's not quite good enough. We also need a baseline amount of energy being generated at all times because renewables aren't consistent. So with nuclear, you always have this baseline being generated. I feel really excited about what the future might hold and where I'll end up and what I might end up doing. I think I'll end up working on some pretty exciting projects. If anyone was thinking of doing a PhD, I would definitely recommend it. It's been challenging, but it's been so rewarding at the same time. When it was offered to me, I would have felt almost silly to turn it down. There's a slight misconception that PhDs are like an undergrad degree, turn up to a few lectures and then have the summers off, whereas it's very much a nine to five job. You know, it's a full time commitment. I try to keep it as a Monday to Friday, occasionally work the odd weekend when there's a frantically trying to get a bit of work done. Essentially, you are your own boss. You get to make your own hours. You just have to be committed and motivated purely by yourself and your work and to get a good job done. There's definitely a few people in my office that really yearn for Monday morning so they can go back to the office. I'm definitely not one of them. There's definitely more to life than work, but it's still a part of my life and I still enjoy it a lot. It was an easy choice to make to do the PhD, but I knew the path ahead was definitely going to be difficult. I was always told it would be a roller coaster, there would be highs, there would be lows, and there's been times where you, yeah, you just want to sit down and cry, and then there's times where you feel so elated and you think you're 
to know the next Einstein. <laughs> you're doing something incredible, but then next week you'll be in tears about how, how horribly wrong everything's gone. The PhD has just basically made me a more rounded person. It's constantly developing yourself, constantly learning new things, new techniques. <laughs>